I'm on an ice rink again. I always find that if it's really slippy in the morning and I need to do a video, it's good for me to chat while I'm on here because then I don't concentrate so much on falling over. And like, yeah, cheers aeroplane. <laughs> That's really low. Um, never mind. I want it to be good footage if I fell on my backside. Obviously you don't want me to hurt myself and neither do I, but the comedy value would be immense. <laughs> anyway, um, hopefully going out today to the charity shops. I think this will be the last week we probably go um, just because of Christmas. Um, I'm going to keep doing the videos as long as I can. Um, like I've said, hit the bell so you know when I'm going to be uploading again in January. And uh, if you enjoy the videos, thumbs up. That would really help. If you want to support me further, you know where the link is. And I'll give a shout out to anyone who does that. If you see anything you like on my videos, send me a message or on, on Instagram. Or if you buy something, send me a message when you purchase and I'll give you a shout out for that too. <sighs> He's freezing. I'm so worried I'm going to fall. And I didn't just fall then, by the way. Um, two of my neighbours were de-icing their car and I felt a bit of a plonker. So I stopped talking to you for a moment. Because you do get some funny looks, I'm not going to lie. I'm home. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Okay. A couple of sales to show you. I've had these quite some time. So this game I've had well over a year. It was part of a bundle I bought of DS's ages ago. I've made my money back over and over on this. Anyway, this went for £3.33, free postage. Not the best, but it's going and yeah, like I said, made my money back on that. So a little loss on this, but not really anything too bad. And this Care Bear, I've had this well over a year, maybe even two years, paid probably a couple of pounds for it. Anyway, it's gone for £13 plus postage and it is going GSP. I haven't actually checked where it's going, but yeah, somebody wants it badly. Happy to see the back of them. A nice big plush and a tiny little game, but sales nevertheless. Right, so we're gonna nip to the charity shops now, see what we can find. I'm gonna show you some windows and um, after the little bit of footage that I get, I will show you what I've got when we get home. Here's the first one. Can't see that up there, it's Age UK. They need volunteers if anyone's in the area. Let's go see what we can find. The next one, in a scope. See what's in the window. Some nice lamps. Let's see what we can get. Right, so I've literally bought one thing and one of the shops was shut. So, we're gonna go on to the best one, the favorite one that I'm really excited about. So hopefully, <laughs> Lisa just said to me, don't jinx it. I was like, I've never walked out of there with nothing. We'll see, hopefully we'll get more than one thing to show you at the end. <laughs> right, so right over there, where those things are outside and a Christmas tree is another charity shop that we're just gonna stop at stop off that on the way and um, we forgot about this one and we just found a really really convenient parking space so uh, the best be something in here because um the gods are pointing to that there should be because we've got a parking space <laughs> send me good vibes people yeah i'm going in here now and i'm going to find some amazing stuff i just found some really good stuff in the other one so i said that everything happens for a reason that was the reason I've been cottoned on to these curtains look all what I would buy but look at that 15 and 18 and 10 no 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 no, no. here's a sneak peek of what I bought if you want to be nosy wait to the end and I'm back home the magic of YouTube. Right, so this is what I've bought. These things on here and all of this. So I'm going to go through it all, let you know how much I paid. 
a lot of it i have no idea how much we're going to list it for um rob is having a couple of these things because you know it's nice to share so <laughs> what i have got here ignore the terry's chocolate orange that is a pretty snack okay so i bought all of these dolls which i believe are my generation dolls one of them is naked and the others all have full outfits let me turn them around beautiful so i've got three full outfits one naked i've also got this kitchen so there's a fridge freezer i believe and like a sink kitchen set this and this chair also with the little rabbit don't know whether that's part of it anyway i paid 25 pound for all of that the reason i did that is because i sold one doll and this chair for 20 pound a couple of weeks ago so i thought it's definitely worth picking up all of it for 25 pound i don't know how much this stuff is worth i'm probably going to part it all out i'll probably do a doll with the kitchen um I'll, I'll, i don't know to be honest I might do two dolls with the kitchen and the fridge and then two dolls with the chair. One of the dolls has no clothes. Or I might just do one doll with the chair like I did before and two dolls with the kitchen and then keep this doll that has no clothes until I find some clothes for her. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm hoping two dolls in the kitchen could be 40 to 50 pound. And the doll with the chair is an easy 20 because I've done that before. So I'll keep you posted on that one. Keep watching my videos to see whether I get these sold or not. Hoping they'll go before Christmas. I'm going to list them probably tomorrow now because let's face it, been out, I'm tired and I can't be bothered. Ryan Eggs. Um, these are new and sealed. Paid £2.50 and these are selling for around £15 for the pack. So I'll probably do £12, try and get a quick sale. Should be easy to do. This clock I absolutely love. It's gorgeous. I've done a little short on this um, on my YouTube, which will have been out a few days ago now because I'm trying to stock, stock my videos up so that I can break off early for Christmas. Anyway, this was £5. It is a Juliana Quartz clock. It's got all these lovely like figures on it there's birds and um, it's very heavy and um, so yeah five pound it was i've comped it i think i'm gonna be able to get or rob is i've given this to rob because rob doesn't do dolls or toys so i've given this to rob and i think we can list it for a comfortable 70 pound maybe a little more but yeah i've asked for keywords anybody knows any keywords that we can use for this let me know and um yeah, that would be a really big help. Um, I really don't know what I'd use for that. I'd probably have to Google lens it and see what happens. Then I picked up these gorgeous vintage bowls. There is only three, which normally can put me off because threes tend to stick around, but I'm gonna market these as nibble bowls and hope that someone likes them. I think they've got a really lovely pattern on them, like autumn leaves and flowers, really beautiful. These were, how much were these? Two pound. I'm hoping I can get at least 10 to 15. We'll see. And um, then I've got these. I'll show you what's here first. Care Bear. This Care Bear was one pound. Um, I'm yet to do any research on it. Don't know when it's from, but I'm hoping I'll be able to get at least eight for that. I've got a lovely little vintage doll. She has booties and knitted mittens. She was two pound as well. Hopefully I can get 10 to 15 on her. This gorgeous hand knitted tea cosy. How lovely is that? Two pound that was, don't know how much I'll be selling that for. It'll probably go on Etsy. I'll probably try for 10 to 15. Another rag doll, can't stop buying these. <laughs> this one was three pounds from Relate. It's lovely, very vintage very 80s looking her pants are coming off <laughs> sorry darling look no wonder she's blushing anyway um probably list her for 30 because yeah why not 
I need to sort her clothes out. I'll do that in a bit. Got this kicker's bag. I think it might be vintage. It was two pounds. Um, don't know. Again, her pin. 12 to 15. Could be good. I don't know. Love this. It's like a little candle holder. And the candle is still in there. It's so lovely. I think this is vintage. It looks it to me. It was £3, as you can see, by the massive pricing. I love the pricing at Cancer Research. It's great. You cannot mistake how much something costs in there. Anyway, um, yeah, hoping I can get 12 to 15 on that. This gorgeous lamp was £8. Look at the lovely detail on this. It's got like orbs going up, leaf detailing. It's fully working. We've tested it. It's got this nice lampshade with it. Um, I think it's vintage. Let me know in the comments what you think. I've also asked for keywords on this. So if anybody knows any keywords, please let me know. I would really appreciate it. This was £8. Um, don't know again how much we're going to list it for. I've given Rob this lamp as well because again, he isn't really into toys. So <laughs> I thought I would let him have something cool that will look good on his shop. So this is it. This is what I picked up today. I will sort her out in a minute. Um, tell me what you think. There's the clock going for it. Um, I think the video I did on the shorts, it wasn't going like that. It was kind of going slowly, which made it look like it wasn't working. But it is fully in the swing of things now. Let me know what you think, anyway, of what I've picked up. Would you have bought all this? What do you think to pricing? What do you think to how much I'm going to list it for? Have you had any, um, any experience with any of this sort of stuff? I think my favourite pickup has to be the clock. I love this clock. I think it is so nice. It's not my sort of thing. I don't mean I love it as in I want to keep it. I just think it is really nice. Um, yeah. I also got my son Dexter a bag of superheroes. So now he's got Loki. He's got Thor. Um, and a few others that he didn't have. So he's very happy. <laughs> anyway, I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Lisa for taking me out today. Um, I did steal her bottle of gin, which I was carrying out of Morrison's for her because she had loads of other bottles that she bought for people for Christmas and I forgot to give her it. So I am sorry about that, Lisa. She's going to come and pick it up anyway. Lisa found me this lamp. Um, she spotted the lamp, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so as always, thank you, my darling. If any of you have watched to this point, thank you so much. I want you to write Lisa in the comments and a waving hand. Say hello to Lisa. She's amazing. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!